Another day, another Ponzi scheme out in the open. This time, it's actually a woman, though, who's been on the run for quite some while. That she even has a name. I'm talking about the Crypto Queen. A property listing in the center of London has dragged a legendary cryptocurrency fugitive who orchestrated a $4 billion Ponzi scam out of hiding. Bulgarian-born German citizen Ruja Ignatova, 42, and a business partner called Sebastian Greenwood deceived crypto fans by saying their crypto token, OneCoin, would be a Bitcoin killer is our main strategic partner and also he's my they started promoting it to potential investors in 2014 offering between a five-fold and ten-fold return and referred to their investors as and insane. However, the fraudster fled in October 2017 when officials surrounded her. And unlike her FTX Ponzi buddy, she hasn't been seen since. She is presently on the FBI's list of the top 10 most wanted fugitives. Plus, the only woman on the list. Police have cautioned that she has most certainly had plastic surgery to alter her look. I mean, with all that money, she definitely could have. Cryptocurrency alone has no value at all. So there's little prospect that she will ever be apprehended. However, Ignatoa allegedly emerged from the woodwork early this month to claim one of her homes. A penthouse property in the London district of Kensington, England, was up for sale a few days ago, with an eye-watering asking price of $15.5 million. After negotiations, this was then reduced to $13.6 million. Ignatoa is believed to have acquired the property through a business, but a new rule required the beneficiary of that firm to be named in full as well. Next, let's talk about what went down on the law end of things. The lawyers on Ignatoa's side claimed the property very formally. In a file with the UK's financial authority, attorneys for Ignatoa established a legal claim on the property. It's simpler. You check if we mine outside the blockchain or if all coins are in the blockchain naming her the beneficial owner of the residence. A modification in the regulations of Companies House, the UK counterpart of ASIC, compelled Ignatoa to come out of hiding. And this glorious revelation happened because she had to be named in full rather than just the name of her shell business. A company named Abbott House Penthouse Limited, which was headquartered in Guernsey, a well-known tax haven with no government monitoring, formerly owned the property. Show the world that we are a very, very successful company and that we are a billion euro company. It meant that Ignatoa was excluded from public records and land register deeds until very recently. The home was marketed by prestige property seller Knight Frank, but the listing was quickly removed as it was discovered that Ignatoa had ties to it. So, in collaboration with the BBC, investigative reporter Jamie Bartlett, host of the Missing Crypto Queen podcast, oh boy, Bartlett did his own little detective work. The guy first identified a thin link between the fraudster and the penthouse. This connection has now been proven, according to Bartlett. Underground world of anonymous illegal black markets. It might have even been a game changer. And now, let's move on to the repercussions. The U.S. Department has levied quite some prosecutions on her. Ignatoa has been charged by the U.S. Department of Prosecutions with conspiracy to commit wire fraud. Wire fraud, conspiracy to engage in money laundering. Wait, let me catch my breath. Conspiracy to commit securities fraud and securities fraud. There we go. The FBI's most wanted list was established in 1950, and she is one of just 11 women of the 529 fugitives who have received an honorable mention. Very successful things that Bitcoin was involved in was this. They are desperate to apprehend the con woman and have offered a $100,000 reward for information leading to her capture. According to the FBI, the crypto queen may have gone on a German passport from Athens to the United Arab Emirates, Germany, Russia, Eastern Europe, or even back to Bulgaria. Around the world! Super impressive! Damien Williams, the US lawyer prosecuting Ingtoa, issued a devastating statement last month in which he stated that her crypto was useless. Let's move on to the crypto. Ignatoa's baby, OneCoin, was the crypto coin that helped her with her Ponzi scheme. The FBI estimated the value of OneCoin, which was founded in 2014, to be $4 billion. Say that again? The BBC believes that investors lost more than 100 million pounds in the United Kingdom alone. Leila Begum from Bow, East London, claims her family lost more than 54,000 pounds in OneCoin after a family friend urged her to invest. However, neither the UK police nor Miss Ignatoa is responsible for the selling of her Kensington home. Prosecutors in the northwestern German city of Bielefeld are to blame, according to the 
the BBC. Bielefeld, more renowned for its Dr. Oetker offices and 13th century castle, is also home to economic crime specialists, who apparently are leading European attempts to pursue the one-coin mastermind. To add more context, Miss Ignatoa's London apartment was relisted this month with the consent of Bielefeld prosecutors. Since 4th of November 2021, the flat has been subject to a Guernsey court injunction. The day after, the BBC exposed how the Channel Islands offshore secrecy hid her acquisition. The legal owner of the house, before Miss Ignatoa was designated the owner, was a Guernsey-based firm. We will launch in the second half of the year a merchant program registered at the address of Aquitaine Group Limited, a wealth manager who has never responded to the BBC's inquiries regarding their work for the Crypto Queen. It's strange though, lines are being blurred when it comes to the investigation of this woman. The founder and the CEO of the company OneCoin. OneCoin is a crypto... Prosecutors in Bielefeld have also charged Miss Ignatoa's German lawyer with money laundering for transferring £20 million. Of course, this was done to cover the purchase of the penthouse and a second apartment in the same building to make huge investments in hardware to mine coins, but who want to participate in Martin Breedenbach vigorously disputes the accusation. His trial, along with two others, is still ongoing. Failure to declare the ultimate owner of a UK property under new transparency standards may prohibit it from being sold in the UK. A sale might not have been feasible if Miss Ignatoa hadn't been identified as the penthouse owner by January 31st, 2023. Close call. The owner's usual residence address must also be filed under the new legal criteria. In Miss Ignatoa's instance, Company's House would not disclose if it had been given such an address for for the fugitive, but the firm went ahead and said, we collaborate with the police. How noble. I'm also gonna drizzle some backstory on our cryptic crypto lady, because Ignatoa wanted to be rich ever since the beginning. Ruja Ignatoa, 42, is a German citizen who was born in Bulgaria to an engineer father and a teacher mother. Jamie Bartlett's book, The Missing Crypto Queen, details her ascent from humble origins to entrepreneurial prominence. Her family relocated to Germany when she was a child, where Ignatoa excelled academically and spent her leisure time studying and playing chess. Her classmates described her as intelligent, motivated, and aloof. Ignatoa received a scholarship at Konstanz University in Germany. It was here that she met and married a fellow law student. She claimed she didn't want children because they would get in the way of her earning a fortune. She also stated that she hoped to be a billionaire by the age of 30. Basically, she desperately wanted to be rich, even consuming books and how to get money in the early hours. When I was 14, I was sitting at my desk and I had a bet with Per Carlson, who is not here anymore. Ignatoa secured a position in Sofia as a consultant for McKinsey & Company, the worldwide management consulting firm, after studying European law at Oxford University. Clients trusted her and identified with her journey from poor beginnings and intense ambition to be wealthy. Her linguistic skills, which included Russian, German, English, and Bulgarian, also aided her. Ignatoa valued appearances, typically attending gatherings in evening dresses and vivid red lipstick, with jewels dripping from her earrings. I'm the one talking in this video, but even to me, it's apparent how big the stakes were and Ignatoa still cashed in on them, for the time being anyway. And that's all I got for you regarding the Crypto Queen. See you in the next one.